gonna be bad! Thank you! Thank This is gonna be bad, guys! Oh my god, I don't sure how Oh why are they why are they performing together though? Let's see. Thank you, Jeff, for turning this special night into one more opportunity you couldn't turn down. God, you are such a fucking whore. <laughs> and that's coming from me, Jeff. <laughs> what does that mean? Thank you for inviting us to celebrate the GOAT. Oh, I guess like, oh, what? So he takes every opportunity to host, like, what is that? Is that like a fucking joke? Or is that like a, you take all the jobs, like what? Whatever. Dead. WG. Wait, what's that? Wait. Goat WG? Greatest of all time white guy. <laughs> ah, fuck yeah! You know, our people don't get many days like these anymore. <laughs> That's what <laughs> No, we really don't. Netflix was hoping some trans amputee skier was popular enough to do this, but <laughs> instead they settled for the greatest white guy. Yo, Tom Tom looks okay. Bert looks really nervous. Bert is really this is the thing about these guys. They always rag on Hollywood. They always act like they're bigger than it. Like the podcast world is bigger. We're outside of it. We do our own thing. Blah, blah, blah. But when the lights are on, when they're actually in front of these guys and the under the lights. Some of them freeze or don't actually meet the mark. Tom seems natural. Bert seems really nervous. He's like, he looks, I've never seen Bert. Like, he's got literal stage fright. Look at him. He's like, look how stiff he's standing. <laughs> I alive. <laughs> it's rare that they let us have a night. They have taken everything from us. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> tennis. tennis. <laughs> Hockey, <laughs> and even baseball, once America's pastime, isn't even played by Americans now. <laughs> Coño, no puedo creer que nos han quitado nuestro juego. <laughs> you fucking traitor. <laughs> but tonight isn't about them. It's about this incredible white American man. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, two solid whites. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, is that Matt Damon in the cowboy hat? You fucking traitor. But tonight isn't about them. It's about this incredible white American man. Uh, two solid whites. And it pans off. Oh, I thought that was Matt Damon, it's not. Two solid whites. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight isn't just about Tom Brady's dream of securing a future for white children in this country. <laughs> no, it isn't. Tonight is about celebrating everything Tom Brady. Yo! Yo! But it's crazy nervous. His hand is shaking. Is that the alcoholic? Sh Honestly, I'm sorry to keep doing this. Is that the alcoholic shakes or is he actually shaking? Look at his hand. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight isn't just about- It's like he's holding it still with the other hand. He is scared. Look at him. I've never seen Bert like this. He is fucking shivering. <laughs> Tom Brady's dream of securing a future for white children in this country. Look at the hand. <laughs> Trying to remember his lines? No, it isn't. Tonight wow. is about celebrating everything Tom Brady stands for. He is so good looking. Oh. <laughs> he is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this fucking picture. Fucking who takes it? To be fair, that reaction from the reaction from Tom Brady made it funnier. It's not that funny, but the reaction from Tom Brady, the way he's sitting looking, is fucking hilarious. He is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's really perturbed by the picture himself. That has to be a screen grab. That has to be. Oh my god. Who takes this picture? Was he pregnant? Of course we got the squeal. Of course we got the squeal laugh included there, right? That's part of the fucking deal. When Netflix right up right up the deal, you know, they wanted Tom to be extra dark, you know, really push the line and they wanted Fuck. 
<laughs> it's fucking gay as shit I've ever seen. <laughs> he... <laughs> Is he... He's handshaking the whole time. <laughs> it's fucking gay as shit I've ever seen. <laughs> he... <laughs> That's you! <laughs> He's also, he is also relentless. Oh, you can't tell that guy no. And he has that one thing that only special men have. He's HIV positive. <laughs> no, that was magic, and it happened right here in this building. <laughs> so much fucking, but... What Tom Brady has is that killer instinct. Which makes Netflix the perfect place for Tom Brady. Yes. Because if there's one thing that Netflix loves, it's serial killers. Don't believe us? Let us compare him with another famous TV, Ted Bundy. <laughs> Fuck, he's gorgeous too. <laughs> I think I might need a new hall pass. Bundy. Oh, the hall pass is a, is a callback to something that he does on the pods. Bro, we don't know you. You're not that famous, bro. No one gives a fuck. Boo! He has so many emotional traits that Tom Boo! has. Boo! Wait, what's this? This is the psychopathy checklist developed by Robert. Who did this? Who decided? Why did he decide to do a PowerPoint presentation? Everyone else is getting on stage and doing jokes, and they decided to do a fucking... What the... F who decided this? way of delivery why couldn't i just get on stage and do jokes it's, and also why are they both holding each other's hands is this a fucking elaborate poor osos you know um celebration why couldn't i just do it individually why do they have to do it as two bears they could easily introduce him as two bears here's tom segura from the widely successful podcast two bears here's bert kreischer the other half of two bears they need to like get on together and do a fucking PowerPoint. Like, have you ever in your life, in your adult life, done a PowerPoint presentation, right? In front of your team, in front of your company with another person. It doesn't really happen, even nowadays. It's rare that that happens. Unfortunately, unless you're doing like a group project, most likely you present your little thing by yourself. You don't do it with another person. It just longs it all out. Like, it's like that you, you took too long or they took too long or you're too, too little. Then you have to answer questions. Like, it's just, it's nonsense. It's all clunky and non-necessary. This is like, and we're reading. I'm getting licked up in the crowd. I'm having a couple of bumps under the table. I'm finger banging my assistant. Like, I don't want to have to read. You know what I mean? What the fuck is this? Robert Hare. It has helped me understand my wife better and... <laughs> As you can see, Tom Brady checks all the boxes. Maybe they should call it the Brady List. Oh, believe you me, Bert, one day they will. <laughs> Glibness, superficial charm, Brady's got it. How does a smile just disappear like that? It doesn't end there, Bert. Grandiose sense of self-worth, this motherfucker's got it. I, well, to be fair, Giselle got half that check. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, fuck you, is she here? Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Brady even has the need for stimulation prone to boredom that, that all the psychos have. I'm retired. You know what? I'm not retired. <laughs> Tom Brady is 100% a psychopath. He's from... Northern California, like the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> That's good. Uh, he choked a couple times in New England, like the Boston Strangler. Yeah. And he chewed up and spat out the competition, just like Dahmer. What about another Netflix <laughs> documentary darling, Jeffrey Epstein? Well... He wasn't a serial killer. He just had a sex trafficking ring. And unlike Tom, it was a ring he earned legitimately without cheating. <laughs> okay, he good. is an ice cold killer. No, that was Aaron Hernandez, Tom's bestie. <laughs> and favorite target. Look at this, just a couple of goofballs having a laugh. <laughs> oh my God. What? I just realized it hit me. 
Tom Brady is just like another famous not so nice guy. Wait, you mean that notorious team leader who was told he wasn't any good, but he still pushed through and made sure everyone knew his name? You got it, Hitler! Yeah. They're so alike. The only difference is they look so cute together. They do. The only difference between Tom Brady and Hitler is that Hitler stuck with his wife until the end. At least, at least Hitler had the balls to do what we wish Brady would, put a bullet in his head. <laughs> Stay retired. <laughs> Tom Brady, you are a terrifying man, and we are so glad you found football before hookers and genocide. Please know, these are all just jokes, and we do not want to die. Yeah, seriously, dude, you are the best. Thank you for having us. Please don't kill us. We really want to live. We have Please, families. please don't kill us, Tom. Thank you. That was garbage. They were the worst so far. Two legit professional comedians who are meant to be in the 1,000, the 250 of the highest level Marine Corps, Ninja, Assassin, Shogun, Special Forces, CIA, KGB, elite level comedians. And they were the worst ones. Randy Moss was funnier than this. Y'all niggas ain't funny. Y'all niggas is trash. Wow. Wow. At the end is all, please, please, please. That, of course, they were joking, but the please, please, please. You're glazing Tom Black. Ugh. He's not going to be your friend, fuckers. You have nothing to offer him. Nothing. Zero. He does not, he's not amused by two middle-aged white men drinking. One that takes off their t-shirt and one that fucking... No, one that takes off the t-shirt and always tries to get into some sort of physical competition with a fucking professional athlete. That's not how you make friends with athletes, I wouldn't imagine. I'd imagine a professional athlete, you probably talk to them like a regular person. Most likely they're going to be friends with you. But if you start fucking creaming over their accomplishments and start talking about how foul you threw a football when you were in college and you played baseball and you would have made it if your knee didn't blow out, they're going to be like, bye. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Get out of here. That too, too thirsty to glazing. Please, 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 please. Wow, wow, wow. That was terrible, man. That was terrible. Guys, we were having an amazing night. Ah, Kevin Hart didn't say nothing. He just said, wow, wow, wow. Kevin Hart didn't say, that was amazing. He didn't, he usually gives a little compliment. Nikki Glazer got one. Randy Moss got one. The other guy got one. They didn't get a little like, man, that's, those guys are, they didn't get zero. He just said, wow, wow, wow. Ouch. <laughs> 